Alright guys, here we are. Um, there was a request by some of you to please do a comparison to that bushy wheel Chinese poor attempt at copying the Garrett rotating assembly, the G25-660, which we revealed a video on uh, not so long ago. This is a G30-900. Okay, that we're going to now, uh, a super core, that we are now going to take the core assembly out of and we're going to install it onto the balancing machine and do a couple of runs to show you what sort of consistency you can expect from a genuine rotating assembly and you can go back and you can compare that to the previous video of the uh, the bushy wheel Chinese reproduction using a very very inferior bearing cartridge and uh, you'll actually see what the differences are so hang fire we're going to get this guy disassembled and we're going to put it onto the balancing, balancing machine and we will uh, show you the results shortly Hey guys, okay, we are at the VSR machine. Here we are with the genuine Garrett uh, G3900, which is mounted onto the, uh, the VSR. And uh, you'll see that that is the balance cut taken directly by Garrett, um, obviously during the balancing procedure that, was ha that, happened, that had occurred at the factory. Uh, we have got this guy mounted and uh, we are going to do a couple of runs. So, what I'm gonna do is just uh, write this here, G30-900, uh, comparison, and I am going to say start and start. Right, let's have a look at this, this graph. Okay, that's the first one running. You can actually see the compressor running over there. Just to give you an idea, yes, it is turning. You're obviously going to get your naysayers and your critics coming and trying to confirm that this has been doctored and whatever the case is, especially the guys that do the Chinese imports. They obviously want to make sure that they can protect the products that they supply. And say next. Right, let's do another run. Can you even see the green line printed over the blue line? Don't think you can. Right, let's do another run. Back to back. Let's do this exactly the same way we did last time with the Chinese product. Next five runs. Here we go. There's the pink. Uh, I don't know if you guys are seeing this, but um, I do believe that this is what you call consistency. Next. Uh, I don't believe there is one percent difference in any of these runs next next right let's go here and see what the, what the graph looks like remember on, on the tests we did okay, there's five runs back to back you're running 50,000 rpm it's quite a large rotating assembly and what we wanted to do was get the gist of what does the curve look like in comparison to that erratic curve that we had when we tested the G25-660 from Bushi Wheel. Now, I think that's as smooth as you like. Five runs, back to back, overlaid on top of one another. That is 100% consistency. So, that is the difference, guys, between a quality product and a low quality product let's leave it at that i know i've used the term polished turd before um, we use that quite loosely but be that as it may that is a genuine garrett g25 uh, sorry g30 900 you can actually see i don't know if you can see that over there there is the uh the garrett name at the back it's a genuine product brand new out the box 
taken the compousing off onto the balancing machine, onto the VSR, and we did five runs. There is the result. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Let me know what you guys want to see next. Uh, if there are any other comparisons or queries or back-to-back uh, -back tests you want me to do, comment in the comment section down below. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and click on the bell. Check you next time.